Hi everyone, welcome back. Uh, lastly, we continue on this list, and today we are gonna learn about uh, integral function of this list and what uh, this function does. We will learn uh, it. It's an overloaded member function of OpenCV, and it has three types in here. We will learn by one by about them at all. And integral can be a scary word for some of you, but uh, it's not like that. It's basically an summation uh, as a meaning so it's a very very easy to understand what it's doing uh, so no need to be scared and here we see three type of this function and let me say at the beginning this one this function uh, at, if you calling this this one the third one is actually doing the first one jobs and the second one jobs what I mean is this output as you can see there are three output in here uh, this one is the output of the, this one, this function, and the second one is the square sum, which me, the, which is the what, what this for, which, what this stands for, for the second one, and also you are getting this one. So the tilted one only is special to the third one. So by calling this function, you are already getting three of this. Why you are getting three of this? Because uh, to calculate uh, the tilted one, which is special to the third one. Uh, to, to get this uh, is already uh, calculating these two so uh, it's better to give this function this this is us to you also maybe you need uh, also the second one uh, you can get the first one result which is the this one and this is special to second one but if you only need the uh, sum uh, which we will learn what these are meaning better you only call the first function also no need to spend more time okay then let's continue here there are some uh, complicated seems complicated functions but it's not like that so better skip this part i will talk and what this function takes as parameter first one uh, source uh, parameter input image and the second one is sum uh, uh, we will talk what it means in here you need to just um, you just need to keep in mind maybe this uh, result which is an array also which is a mat format you are getting just one uh, column extra also one uh, row extra from as, as a result from this function and square sum also uh, at all the their width and height their column number and row number is changing by plus one okay tilted also what these three meaning we will see in the code part better and these are the format of the output okay let's continue with the code part better here I already created a mat to understand easily like in the previous videos and it's 3 times 3 mat and I already assigned some numbers to to its elements and to see the results and I'm calling the first member function of integral and here I'm giving basically input and getting destination and I I made it as this format but you can also change for now this is not really important and see the, to see the results with imshow not uh, not valuable because it's in the float type so seeing results in the window with imshow is not uh, logical so I'm just uh, I will just show you this one but uh, as I said it's not uh, valuable for us so we will focus on the output of the C, uh, C out because in here we will see the real results okay let me run the function first of all okay uh, don't focus on this part first of all input this is our input which we are giving to the integral function okay then this is the output as you can see this is three times three met but it changed uh, the output change as uh, four times four which is we talk in the document part uh, it's increasing width and height okay what this integral does uh, as I said at the beginning integral is a summation but nothing else and let's continue pixel by pixel first of all uh, in the every mat you need to give the zero to here to this column and to this row because uh, this depends on the function explanation which is here 
because of some equalization in here uh, just uh, no need to go deep but just put the first row and the first column zero then the second one here why this is 125 because this one is 125 and the, in the back side nothing now you will understand what integral doing maybe uh, when we continue for example this one this is one right but uh, in here it changed as 254 how it's doing that let me call Call calculate open a calculator this is one and integral is doing until this one uh, until this one drawing a rectangle from the zero like this just imagine this rectangle and summing all of the elements until here let's uh, take summation 125 3 plus 1 but you get 254 which is in here as you can see so just this one taking until here what about this one this is extra uh, summing of this and summing of this let's adding 18 let's adding 15 and you are getting 287 which is here so for example this one you already have this summation I mean this part you already have but you need now this uh, rectangle 2 times 3 rectangle just sum all of these and write to here nothing else uh, let's sum again 125 125 3 1 2 and one more 125 and you are getting 381 which is we writing to here in output so it goes like that very simple very very simple what it's doing is just getting summation of the until that target pixel whatever you take and you see this for example this three taking all of the pixel summation until here it means uh, taking a doll and summing them and writing to here this is what integral does uh, I think it's very simple right and this output not valuable because after uh, 254 all will be like that and yeah it's not logical to see this I'm just I just want I just showed that to show you okay then let's continue with the second one second overloaded function what this one does does this is normal summation and this is square summation this is represented by uh, square summation and what this function does just uh, differently let me show you first of all calling uh, not this one okay just you are giving depth and this depth and one more destination you are giving let's say destination one destination two and also one more type we are writing okay now uh, this destination is the output of first integral let's write the others also uh, let's see the destination 1 and also let's see the destination 2 ok in here you can uh, compare the results now let me make it little bigger uh, you can see that the first one which is the output of the previous integral function uh, equal to the second one because by calling this function the second member function of integral already calculating uh, which the first one is doing so you already get this one again but what about this one this is just different uh, with the first one in one way let me show that that's why we call it square also and let me open the this one okay to calculate this one before we are just summing before nothing just we are writing 125 but in here we are calculating the integral by the pixel squares what I mean for example square of this the equal to this one as you can see and uh, for example this one how we are calculating just the 125 square plus again 125 square plus 3 square plus 1 okay then you are getting the this result 
just different than the first one by taking the square of the pixel index values but nothing else this is the second one doing what about the third one third one a uh, little difficult to explain because it's rotating the image 45 degree and uh, maybe in here it, they are explaining that also uh, okay here integral for the image rotated by 45 degrees and with the same type okay maybe I'm difficult to show this so I'm skipping this one the question okay it's very easy to understand what integral doing I think you understood my target in this uh, video I just to show you what it's meaning but where do we use this actually we use this in many places uh, to take the mean to take standard deviation of an image and many uh, equations many equation results we are we are using these functions but uh, in reality I mean uh, how this makes our life easy in that part I can give you the best example maybe in here uh, I'm suggesting you to watch this video because it's explained very well I think I think it's a couple of video uh, what's this video explaining in the hard features which is an uh, OpenCV face detection method in HAR, uh, HAR face detection algorithm which is developed in 2001 so in here they are directly using the integral images and using to detect faces it's very uh, I think it's very cleverly developed so I'm also suggesting people who are really interested how it's working uh, uh, they can watch this uh, professor videos uh, this is couple of video series I think you can continue on this one and you can understand how integral is really useful actually to understand that uh, the importance of the integral uh, just maybe you need to really advance in this area because uh, this is a detail function I mean you cannot directly see the result for example not like threshold in an image you are giving input and you see output oh okay this is what this is the output I get and I can use this in this in this in this areas uh, and they can make my life easy but integral you cannot directly see the advantage directly see the uh, importance of this function so this is uh, you little need to more uh, understand this and which areas we can maybe uh, need this function and you can get some inspirations maybe okay uh, I'm done here we talk about integral and uh, how it works we've seen uh, see you in the next videos